Book 309. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today, I'm going to tell you guys about the failed farmer whose crops couldn't grow. That's right, the failed farmer whose crops couldn't grow. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in a land where the most successful people were those who cultivated crops, a father grew too old to continue to tend to his fields. Because of this, he told his eldest son that it was now his job to take over the family business and provide for all of them. This son, who was one of my ancestors no less, had waited his entire life for this opportunity and he eagerly agreed to accept this new responsibility. The son, trying to impress his father and make a name for himself as a great farmer, went out and purchased several sacks of seeds from a man who sold seeds cheaper than the man who sold seeds to his father. It was his intention to buy the seeds cheap and then make more profit once the crops were harvested and sold. The son planted his seeds in the same manner as his father did each year and he tended to them in the exact same way. In the proper process of time, however, all of the other farmer's seeds began to grow into crops, but the son's seeds did not. He went out and gave them more water, and he performed the proper offerings to the gods, but nothing he tried seemed to work. Harvest time came, and every farmer in the land except the son harvested their crops and made their profit. Also, the people began to murmur and gossip about the son, saying that he was no real farmer and he was dishonoring his father's name with his incompetence. The next year, all of the farmers planted their seeds again and tended to them like they always did, and again, everyone's crops grew except the son's. This time, even his own father, mother, and siblings began to murmur about him. They told him that he was failing at the craft of a farmer, and if he did not get it right, their family would lose everything the father worked for, and they would become poor and starve to death. The son became distraught, and he feared that the cheap seeds he bought would bring about his family's ruin. The next year, the same thing happened, and his cheap seeds did not produce any crops. When this happened, everyone turned on him. The people openly mocked him as a failure, and his family said that he had brought shame to their name and to their household. Their father stripped him of his responsibility and gave it to his younger brother. This act was the ultimate level of dishonor and disrespect, and the son determined to leave the land. Nothing was worse than an eldest son who was stripped of his eldest son responsibility and rights. The son packed up his things, including his cheap seeds, and he left the land with his pet dog to go and live alone with his shame. In this new land, he lived destitute for several years until one day he ran out of food for his pet dog and he decided to feed him the cheap seeds. The dog ate the seeds and over time he pooped them out in the field behind the son's house. Several more days passed and the son was searching for food one day and he noticed the most beautiful flowers he had ever seen growing in the field. Examining them, he realized they had grown from his pet dog's poop. Aha, he said, having an epiphany. These flowers grew from my cheap seeds that my dog ate. These seeds aren't crops, they are flowers. The son planted more of the cheap seeds in the field and they all grew quickly and became the most beautiful flowers ever. The son then took the flowers to the various markets in the area and since no one had seen flowers like them before, he sold them for a high price and made more profit than he would have made off of crops. After selling his flowers, the son's entire life changed and he went from being poor and destitute to rich beyond his wildest dreams. With his newfound wealth, the son returned back to his home and told his family what had happened. I was not a poor farmer, the son said, with his chest stuck out in triumph. It was just the seeds I had could not grow in this soil made for crops. In the new soil, in the new land, my seeds grew into beautiful flowers. And now I have brought honor back to our family and to our name. And so the morning motivation of today is the failed farmer whose crops couldn't grow. Sometimes you cannot grow and blossom into the person you are meant to be because of the environment that you are trying to grow in. Your surroundings may not be conducive to producing the best version of you. Perhaps you have to change your surroundings in order to thrive. And perhaps you must plant the seeds of your dreams into a different type of soil before they will grow and produce fruit. Today, do not be afraid to change your environment to become better and always strive to do that which is good. 
And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. Do all the books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series. Search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com. Or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.